So he competed in his division, which is the yes. pl plus 99 k kilos, and in the super fight against Andre Gava. That's correct. Uh, this was, in fact, the first time in, in history that this was uh, allowed. Um, for your uh, listeners who don't follow grappling, um, we may have been very rude and just throwing a lot of stuff at you without explaining ourselves. First of all, ADCC is like the Olympics of grappling. Uh, it occurs every two years. Um, you can either qualify for the event through uh, winning matches in a qualification process, or you can be invited. The only people who get invited are either former winners or people in the sport who are just widely recognized superstars who bring some kind of brand value, who have proven in the past that they have what it takes to compete at that level. In this format, there are two kinds of matches. There are weight division matches, in which you compete against people your own, uh, uh, roughly your own size and weight. There is an open weight where anyone of any size can enter. So you can have very small people fighting very large people. And there is a second category called a super fight, where established champions who have won previous open weight uh, uh, tournaments fight each other in one-off battles, one athlete against another. So in most of the uh, matches, you, you will you will fight repetitively over time towards a gold medal. But in one category, you fight one fight, the so-called super fight, which is usually the headline fight of the event. Um, traditionally, if you were in the super fight, you could not compete in the weight categories. It was seen as too risky because you might get injured during the weight category, or you might have to fight four very tough fights in a row and get exhausted so that you're ineffective during the main event of the uh, of, of the show, the super fight. So throughout its history, ADCC has always resisted the idea of an athlete being allowed to do both weight category and uh, super fight. It's never happened before. Gordon Ryan requested to be able to do this um, because of his extraordinary stature in the sport the ADCC organization granted his request. That was the first time ever. In addition, Gordon Ryan would be fighting to be the first person to win th three gold medals in three different weight categories. This has never been done before. So it was a huge event on Gordon's part. And bear in mind also that prior to this event, he had fought just uh, a month and a half earlier against a former ADCC openweight champion, Felipe Pena, who had defeated him in the past in a completely different rule set, and then previous to that against the current world champion. So there had been a build-up to this. So he had been very active uh, uh, coming up to the event, and then he went in to fight arguably the greatest ADCC champion of all time, Andre Galvan, which would occur late on Sunday, and would have to fight the toughest people, including... Uh, the possibility of fighting his nemesis, Felipe Pena, in the weight division prior to getting to the super fight. So there was genuine concern here that he may have completely overstepped himself. Um, the biggest concern I had as a coach, and I'm sure the organizers, Mo Jason, must have had the same concern, is that he would get injured or exhausted fighting in his weight division. Um, there were two athletes in particular, uh, Felipe Pena, who had given Gordon a very tough 40 minute match in a no rules setting um, uh, shortly before ADCC and his former training partner uh, Nick Rodriguez um, who were expected to give Gordon very very tough matches if they came up against each other so there was a genuine concern that Gordon may burn himself out before he even got to fight the guy who most people believe is the greatest ADCC champion of all time so our concern was, how do we manage this? So what we looked for is extremely efficient methods of reducing the time of the matches, making the matches as short as possible. Um, our favorite way to fight bigger, stronger athletes, and uh, I think Gordon was the lightest athlete in, uh, in his weight division. Everyone goes, oh, Gordon's so big and strong. He's actually quite light. Um, uh, I think he was outweighed by almost all of his opponents. It's nice to see Gordon looking small relative to his opponents, which is absurd to say, but it is the open division. 
plus 99 uh, kilos. It was plus 99 kilos. Right, that's what I mean, sorry, yeah. by open, plus 99 kilos. Everyone looks like the Incredible Hulk, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, our big thing is when we fight bigger, stronger opponents, we always go in two directions. You either go for the legs or you go for the back. And so um, we constructed strategies based around those two methods. So going for submissions. And we should also mention that AGCC rule set is for regular matches, I think it's five minutes and five minutes. Total is 10 minutes. And then for finals matches, it's 20 minutes. And half the time is spent with no points. So these can be very, very long matches. I mean, to put this in a perspective, a modern judo match is five minutes. Yeah. Um, a modern wrestling match, I believe, is six minutes in international freestyle. Um, so these matches can be 40 minutes long. Now, that's a long, long grappling match. Yeah. And um, depending on how you compete in it, that can have a huge toll on absolutely. your- Absolutely. You, you, you can get to the finals and just be absolutely spent. So our whole thing is, okay, Gordon's got to not only get to the finals, then he's got to fight the toughest ADCC grappler of all time after that. So um, we were looking for quick and energy efficient uh, matches. And that meant going to the back or going to the legs. Um, and in the overwhelming majority of cases, that's exactly what he did. He was able to get some very, very quick matches uh, courtesy of leg lock finishes. And in the few cases where he uh, uh, didn't finish on legs, then he would simply take his opponents back. And uh, that's a very low stress position to to occupy. Um, in one case, uh, his opponent deliberately kept his back on the ground to prevent the back take, and he just uh, chose mounted position instead. And so he was able to go through his weight division with an extremely low energy expenditure, which set him up well to go into the uh, the finals, no injuries, very little energy expenditure. Now it sounds easy to say that, you know, oh, okay, the strategy worked. But in order to get that strategy to work, you have to have one hell of a set of skills 